Every positive story that builds a man up to be bigger than life itself always has a downfall. Fuck. Ooh, what is up, guys? It is your boy, D -d 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 Dilly Thumbs. Ta da! Anyways, guys, back to the story. Okay, being number one. Uh, the, the Sita murder story, part three, the downfall. And the reason there's a downfall in this is, you know, look, I, you know, like I told you guys, I went all the way through no, MW3. Okay, I'm going to catch you all up. You know, I pretty much skipped Black Ops 2, I, but when Ghost came out, you know, like I said, you know, I told you guys the history building up my name. Well, when Advanced Warfare come out, you know, when Ghost came out, is when you know I hit number five, but we had an unstoppable clan, and I never, I never said that with without the clan I'd have been great on Ghost, because I wouldn't have. Which is the same reason one of our members, Mandir26, made it to number one, is because he collected all the tags while we did all the killing. But you know I was still number five, and I was happy with that, and uh, I was getting you know two, three Kims every hour. It seemed like just popping them off. You know sometimes a Kim a match. But anyways, then comes, you know, Advanced Warfare. And to be honest with you, uh, I just couldn't get the hang of it. And, you know, I kept playing, of course, and ranked up, got number one in the world. But, you know, I wasn't really a team player on there. It's like I couldn't play that good, you know, when I had a full party. But when I was playing by myself, I was immaculate. And I think to become number one, I had to go play by myself a lot. And a lot of the guys in the clan didn't want to wait on me. They didn't want to wait for me to join back up with the clan. They wanted me to, you know, play with the clan, and I couldn't get it with the clan. You know, I was getting my kills stole and tags. Ta I just wanted to play, you know, I always wanted to be, you know, when I hit five on Ghost, I wanted to be number one. So I hit number one. Okay, um, I'm losing almost every friend I have at that time. Um, now, this was on PS3. And I'm losing every friend I have at that time, you know, and I came over to PS4 and Lunchbox was still there, you know, he was one of my leaders for a long time, actually my second command, he probably would have TMC right now if it wasn't for him being a backstabbing kid like he is, and taking some idiot fucking piece of shit fucking named Beer Hopper over me. Um, this Beer Hopper dude's a real weird guy, and you know, the way he acts around kids is odd. You know, I thought maybe he shouldn't be hanging around him. You know, I had met Lunchbox in real life, and he knows, you know. I'm, I'm no one to play with, man. I'm a good guy, but and I mean well, but if you stab me in the back, I'm done with you. I don't deal with you if you're not a good person. And obviously, no one in over there in that Tags clan you guys already know about, no one over there is a good person. I mean, what they did was ridiculous. A game is a game, yes. But, you know, anyways... Lunchbox at the time was one of the few left in the clan. Of course, d Rec was locked up in prison. And uh, so, you know, I come over to PS4 and I end up being, and I still am over there, like 27 in the world in Hardcore Kill Confirm on Advanced Warfare. You know, and I, I put in some time, you know, so I was number one and 27. I figure, you know, couldn't get no better than that. And then Black Ops 3 comes out, which was the downfall of C-Dub Murder, because by then... There's a few people that still remember me as C-Dub Murder. Not a lot. You know, C-Dub Murder is pretty much a legend. And when I say a legend, what I mean is there's more stories about C-Dub Murder that I've never even seen really happen, if you know what I mean. Like, people have made up some really horrific stories. You know, some being great stories, some being bad stories. But that's what you get when you get to be a legend. Which also is a bad thing, because I can't get in a single lobby, you know, that's what I like about the PS4s, I don't have to hear everyone's bullshit. You know, it gets hard to get in a single lobby, you know, and Nismo from MMC, that lead, you know, the leader of them, him and, you know, God, uh, Goatfather, they both come to me, you know, wanting to rekindle everything, trying to be cool with me and everything else, and then, you know, they finished off help destroying my clan in advanced warfare by recruiting most of my players and when this game come out i destroy i mean i'm don't get me wrong the clan i'm in right now t is way better than mmc ever thought of being but that all being said you know yeah i've been number five and i've been number one and it's you know it just felt like you know after i lost the number one after i was hacked i tried so hard to get it back on 
you know, Advanced Warfare on PlayStation 4, but, you know, the Korean guy was already way up there. I was never going to catch him. I just feel honored to be, you know, ranked 27. And that's pretty much the death of C-Dub Murder, you know, is Black Ops. By the time this Black Ops got here, C-Dub Murder is not heard of no more. Everyone knows me as Deadly Thumbs. See, the ideal of Deadly Thumbs was destroy, you know, to destroy C-Dub Murder anyways. But it's in you. Once it's in you from the beginning to be number one, I don't care if you go five and 50. It is in you never to be touched again. You know, never to be put down like I've already done it. But people demand that you keep producing. Well, look, man, there's legends all over the place. Tupac, you know, I don't know if he would be the top rapper if he was still alive. I don't know if Biggie would be the top rapper if he's still alive. You know, I don't know if Easy e would have took the top position of all time if he would have still been alive. You don't know these things, but you do know what these people did in the past. And I am a reigning champion. You know, when it all started in MW3, I'll just be honest with you guys. You know, I felt it from there that I was, you know, you know going to be known for greatness. And I took TMC with me no matter what. And I think a lot of people got jealous when I hit number one. And that was pretty much the downfall. You know, everyone wanted to try to hack me and everything else. And when that didn't work, and they seen I came back as deadly thumbs, of course, everyone had to jump in there, you know. I've had streams with over 100 views, and it was all enemies. So, I became, you know, the most hated player in the history of Call of Duty. And that's a title. So, I will accept that. All that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Um, I just wanted to put it on a video, you know. It was a decent gameplay, you know, I am talking about when I was ranked number one. You know, a lot of people still say a lot of rumors about me, but, you know, I'll take being a legend, you know. And uh, even though I had my downfall, you know, the C-Dub murder story is a good story. And now it's time to end that and finish up with the Deadly Thumb story. Because that's what everyone knows me as now. Anyways, guys, until next time, I want you all to leave a like, a sub if you're brand new, and don't forget to stay... Deadly! This has been a T-Person.